Yes, hello there guys, girls, people of the internet and the YouTube gaming community. My name is Beepo Gaming, and today I'm bringing you guys another video on Assassin's Creed Syndicate. So guys, this video is going to be all about how Assassin's Creed Syndicate reinvades stealth and combat into the series. Now this is from the GameSpot article, and the link to this will be in the description down below. So, let's get straight into it. In addition to bringing the franchise to an all new location with an all new set of heroes, Assassin's Creed Syndicate is retooling the franchise's long standing combat system. It's clear that developer it's clear that developer Ubisoft Quebec has invested much into its vision of 1868 London, creating a world that is as boisterous as protagonists Jacob and Evie Fry. Players will explore the city's seven boroughs, overthrowing opposing crime lords and building an underground assassin-led network hell-bent on destroying Templar control. It's the first title in the series set in the modern era, giving developers a perfect opportunity to modernise the game systems as well. The way Assassin's Creed titles have handled stealth of, of this point involve around available cover, and you have to base your sneaking around on the presence of hay bales and bushes and blending into crowds. Stealth was based on hiding and taking refuge, waiting out enemies and staying unseen. In Syndicate, the sharp, the hard snap has gone, and you won't be spending your time painstakingly trying to meld into groups of people. In the London Underground, there's no need to hide who you are. In Syndicate, Stealth abandons the need to hide entirely and instead focuses on allowing players to manipulate the environment in ways that allow them to sneak around. The game features more physical stealth, the same crouching and crawling mechanics used in the more recent action adventure games. You won't be hitting buttons to enter and exit cover, instead there will be a softer snap in which you can tap a button to move fluidly from navigation into stealth when you need it. Assisting players as this new kind of stealth is a whistle which has been brought back from previous Assassin's Creed games for use in Syndicate. A soft whistle from Jacob will lure unsuspecting police and criminals to wherever he is hiding, allowing him to dispatch them quickly and quietly away from crowds. Throwing knives have also been made more versatile. In addition to throwing them at enemies, they can be used to cut down objects hanging over the London streets, like barrels and cargo nets, and chucked into fire sources to inflict burns on enemies and cause a distraction. Feeding back into the new stealth mechanics, creative director Marseille Mark Alexis Cote noted the navigation has been developed to be smoother in order to accommodate the removal of cover based sneaking and the addition of the new items like the rope dart, rope launcher sorry. Cote also said that after complaints about windows being too hard to move over and into in Unity, windows in Syndicate have been retooled for smoother use. You'll also be able to climb up more things, chimneys for one, often an excellent point of which to get a great view of the city. During a presentation of the game, GameSpot watched protagonist Jacob climb up one such chimney to get, a, to get to a good point to look at his next objective. As the camera turned to take in the while, taking the white beacon shooting into the sky that indicated his next mission, they saw St. Paul's Cathedral in the distance. Near the factory distance was crowned in black smoke, a tiny forest of black chimneys poking into the sullen sky. After one last look at Jacob, take a leap of faith into a cart of full hay, then trotted out of his way into a brawl. As for the combat system, everything has been brought into close quarters. Syndicate focuses, focuses on melee combat, with Jacob and his street gang pulling enemies into fistfights on the city streets. The birth of organised crime saw the upstick in use of concealed weapons, making Jacob's arsenal the perfect set for tools for the time. Combat is no less brutal than in previous games, but bringing fights between you and your enemies closer allows for some seriously cool looking fast paced skirmishes. It also shifts the initiative from the AI to the player. You won't be expecting them to react to you sniping a target or have to wait for them to take turns attacking. Multiple enemies can cover on Jacob simultaneously, making brawls more about crowd control than taking out everyone. Opponents can be stunned or manipulated into taking one another out for you. This is where the throwing items to fire sources can spark fights among your enemy groups. It is a significantly greater test of the player's reflexes than it has been in previous games. Another promising feature is the reworking of all side activities. While then having certain fetch quests or mission or mini missions to gather items or to do su something frivolous, every activity within the game, every main quest and every side quest will feed back into your goal of controlling the city. That means everything you do has some impact in some small way on what you're still striving to accomplish. The storyline and the side quest will intertwine as one, developers say, creating a smooth experience that doesn't throw any curveballs that make that break you out of the narrative. Recruitment goals are back as well, <coughs> because your ultimate goal is to build Jacob's underground army of the poor and scrappy of London. Once you've, amused, 
promotion with mass followers, you can participate in gang wars, giant group rules, take up the whole city blocks and soak the cobblestones in blood. The leaders of the boroughs, Templars of course, will notice when you take over one of their strongholds and show up with their minions to challenge you. During the presentation, I watched Bloody Nora, the badass leader of one of the boroughs, hunt down Jacob and challenge him to a fight. As she drew her gun to shoot Jacob down in cold blood, his sister Evie materialised seamlessly from nowhere on her rooftop, shot the gun out of Nora's hand with her rope launching, with her rope launcher, prompting Nora to call her gang to aid. Like a scene of gang wars in New York, Jacob and a handful of his men swaggered across a stony square to meet Nora and her men. One of Jacob's men threw the first punch and from there it was an all out brawl. Total chaos. People came from every side to create a mass of flailing limbs and inheritance shouting. A horde of men and women, all in pants I might add, ran into the square, punching, kicking and stabbing each other. Within minutes it was all over. The ground littered with bodies and splashes of blood. Jacob emerged victorious, taking out Nora himself and claiming the borough for he and his sister Evie to lead. I think the biggest challenge in making a game is de defining a clear fantasy for our players to engage in. Identifying that fantasy and the, and the relating everything to it could expand. The fantasy that we have in, Victor in Victorian London is to become the masters of the criminal underworld. Then we can attach a lot of things to this. Use the criminal underground to take back London. It fits in super well with the open world with the concept of dominating the map and London. On the other end, we use the main storyline to explore the different ways the Templars are controlling the city and use your gang to fight that. So guys, that was all the information we have on the stealth and combat now in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you like that whistling's back? Do you like that, co that fist fight is back? Do you like that the combat is even more better and more refined? Let me know in the comments down below. If you have enjoyed this video, then I urge you to click that like button. If you haven't already, then again, I urge you to subscribe to my channel because I am number one for Assassin's Creed Syndicate gameplay, information, conspiracies, and theories. So subscribe to my channel today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye for now, and have a great day.